I can see you're all anxious to hear the outcome. This is a calculation of shockwave thickness. By the way, I don't know if I'll make it the list of the people who are involved or is coming, but anyway, all this stuff, Jing Jiang Chen was a fellow here, and this stuff was the subject of his thesis, but he married Hong Ling Rao, who was a numerical person, so she helped with the numerics of this. I don't know who did watch it. It comes to numerics. Once the numbers go up, who cares where they come back? That's not my problem. That's not my problem. <laughs> You've got it. All right. So I don't know if you can see this, but the real event is this guy up here. That's not his host. That's Mach number. Well, what are you talking about? The data are the uh, various funny symbols, uh, vertical axis. And then there are other things, including the theory of just Now, again, once it gets on this axis, it's on that axis. It doesn't, oh, what happened to the caption? There was a caption. Just tell Delta us. is the shock wave thickness. What does that mean? Which have order of a mean free path. What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> What's the definition of shock wave thickness? How the hell do I know? These <laughs> guys measure things and I have to obey. Where is the shock? How did we get along without you all those years? Okay, the simplest shock waves of material flowing in, material flowing out. There is a change like this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the shock wave. Is that a definition? No. <laughs> <laughs> Too damn bad! What do you mean, no? What more do you want to do? Tell me where the arrows end. That's right. <laughs> oh, well, in this case, they end some here. We just. No, no, no. This, is the world world. this yeah. one? Yeah, where are the arrows? Oh! At? Until you think the gradient is nearly enough to be zero, so no one will ask the question. <laughs> Yeah, that's a kind of eyeball thing, but it's, give me a fact or two, I don't care, you see. So it's, you know, there's not a rigorous <laughs> definition of my knowledge. You could fit a, a tanch to it or something. And is that one over delta on that axis? Yeah. That's one over delta on that axis? Delta is the thickness of the shock. With respect to what? What? <laughs> What? Who? There's a fluid coming in and a fluid going out, yeah. and there's a sudden transition in right. velocity. Yes. 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 Because it's yes. non dimensional. Yes. It's, it's non dimensional. With respect to the mean free path, free path it's scaled. It has no dimensions, and the question is is it scaled relative to the mean free path? Well, yeah, yeah, mean free path is our unit all the way, and there's the Mach okay. number. Okay. I apologize. Okay. So, I apologize. Oh, okay, so but, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so point okay. I, I, you know, it's a contest for the worst lecture of the summer, and uh, I'm really a contender. Don't <laughs> <don't laughs> <talk. You're laughs> mix. Shockwave about <laughs> 10, 10 or so mean free paths. What? <laughs> the, the thickness yeah. is about ten mean free paths. I see it here. Um, when de whatever delta is point one. Yeah. 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 It. I mean, I had nothing to do with that graph. <laughs> what the hell? You know, once, as, who cares where they come down? But it's roughly one, I don't care, one and ten. In astrophysics, one and ten are the same. Four pi is one. What do you want from that? Right? <laughs> so with that, I leave you because uh, I know you've suffered enough. And as I tell all my students, the audience must never suffer. Thank <laughs> you.